Hello everyone, welcome back to Unheard. There's so many things that we still need to do. I don't even know where to... Or to... Uh, who are you? Oh, we don't... We don't know that yet, obviously. So, you know what? Let's kind of... I'm going to stand here near next to Emily. <coughs> Emily is the real crazy one. I'm sorry, mental patient. Spoon probably is too. Maybe that dude, those people? No idea who they are. George is talking to someone. What what the hell is going on there, Emily? People here are more nuts out there. Neither is no one. It's the play. You keep on singing. Okay, who who's getting Nobody really got close to you. Oh, Hey, Emily, you gotta turn that thing on before you can watch it. <laughs> There's this thing What's called that? a You're remote. Emily. Don't do this to me! Oh, wait, so he... Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Who is... Okay, let's check out... These... You know what? No, I'm gonna check out... Who's with George. That's... Probably gonna give us an answer. Why is it you wanted me to meet you here, George? Actually, I wanted to ask you a favor, Maestro. You're an expert Maestro. in art, yes? I was hoping you could evaluate a painting for me. <laughs> You've come to the right person. Not to boast, but uh, a piece's price can increase considerably if I say good things about it. Of course, of course. Please, sit. The picture's right here. If you could just take a look. What is this? This isn't artwork. This is a map? Indulge me, if you would. And listen to the music. Anything? This is the music of the game, isn't it? There's something. Wait. I need to uh, get my thoughts straight. Uh, Take your time. That's horrible. It's terribly sounding. See? All right, my star, come on. Snap. I, I see it now. Tell. Oh, you can actually write notes here. Tell me. Yeah, not needed. What do you see? I see a, an interrogation. Yes, inside a police station. Who are the police interrogating? I don't. Oh, wait. Yes. I know this voice. Silver Spoon? What are they questioning Silver Spoon about? Something about drugs. It, yes, I remember Silver Spoon mentioning this before. Excellent. Let's move on to the next picture. Another one? What about the painting you said I was here to evaluate? What's going on? What are you doing to me? Don't worry, Maestro. It's just a small test. One more picture, and we're done. Uh, uh, another map? Do you recognize this place? It looks familiar. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, an art gallery. Describe the art gallery for me. Yo. It's crowded. An exhibition will start soon. Wait. There's an empty frame? But why? Exactly. Why is that? 
give me just a a moment. Yo. No, no. It can't be that either. Uh, but then, who took it? The the real painting. It's fine. Take your time. Yo, yo. No, 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 no. This is us, or at least we are what he used to be. Oh, are we gonna end up here as well? Okay. You got it, Maestro. Oh, it's Sean. Yes. <laughs> nice to see you again. Oh, again. And Ms. Reeves is here too. What? So then my painting was stolen. Someone stole my painting. No, no, that's not it. Right. I had my own painting stolen. It, it was part of my exhibition. I spent so much time and effort on my painting. I would never let someone steal it. It was all part of my plan. <laughs> yes, the painting was retrieved in the end too. The lost art return. Are all are there? Oh, I'm afraid. Wait, George, shut up. So you're what we are doing, but you were also part of the art gallery. Spoon was the one in the first episode with the drugs. Mr. Director, are you the one? There's another person there. Um, that was in the uh, the the other one, not the police station, but the previous one. The man theater, Jesus. So who's the police? Okay. Take your symptoms haven't improved. What are you talking about? Didn't you ask me to evaluate paintings for you? This was an evaluation, except it was a psychiatric one. We call it the thematic apperception test. What? A psychiatric evaluation? Yes. Tailor made for your symptoms. I also use role-play therapy to supplement the effects. Unfortunately, the results are far from promising. I... What's wrong with me, exactly? We used images to hypnotize you, allowing you to see and hear things from your past. When you saw an interrogation, you could remember the story Silver Spoon told you. The problem is... When you saw the image reflecting yourself, you weren't able to differentiate between delusion and reality. You sank further and further into your own fantasy story, allowing you to escape from the bleakness of your own reality. You staged the whole theft. Quite a coincidence, and a little too convenient, don't you think? George! Doctor! What you said... I don't quite understand. Don't worry about it. You know everything you need to know. Now, answer me one question. Who are you? I'm the ma... No. No, I'm... Mm. Patient number 29. Yes. There you go. Wait, so... Maestro, your one, Emily, Emily, you're probably one. Now, just make sure you keep taking your medication on time. And trust me, you will get better. All right. I also think Spoon is one, by the way. Spoon. Uh, come to think of it, Emily might be Ghost. Who's acting to be, uh, what the hell? Patient 29 shows little improvement. If anything, his symptoms may be worsening. For situations with which he has an anecdotal connection, he is able to discern the projected narrative from reality. But in cases where he has direct experience, 
his ability to distinguish between the two is severely blurred. Prognosis remains guarded. I strongly recommend continued treatment with antipsychotic medications, as well as TAT and role-playing therapy to see if conditions improve. And we should schedule him for a full reassessment in six weeks' time. Why is he sleeping, though? I'm going to stick with Maestro. <laughs> okay, then. Is there anything else you want to you wanna tell me, Maestro? No? The two right. is severely so that means... What? That we are going there because I want to find out who, are, who those two dots are. Also, the there there was a dot there later on. Where is that dot? It's probably that dot. Okay. Nothing. Nothing is going on here. Nothing is going on here. Oh. Something happened. Who's that knocking? Ray, what are you doing here? Who did this to you? I'll explain everything later. Quick, untie me. I can do that, but only on one condition. Just say it. Wh whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Within my power, of course. You need to prove to everyone else that I'm not crazy so I can get discharged. Consider it done. I knew you weren't crazy a long time ago. Perfect. Then you can get me out of here. Well, I I'll do my best, but, but remember, I'm just a caregiver. The doctors are the ones who have the final say. Oh, speaking of doctors, Jennifer's in the room next door. We gotta save her, too. Dr. Jennifer? Doctor? Sorry, you Nelly? Wake up! Where am I? What happened? Someone apparently knocked you out. Got some blood on you there. I remember that much. But why am I in the bathroom? Can't help you there. Wait, you weren't out cold, Ray. What happened? Huh? Hey, what are you. Oh. Ray! What the fuck? You killed her! She'll be fine. Anyway, better her than us, right? What are you even talking about? What's going on? Okay, so here's what happened. While you were treating patient number 68 earlier, you remember that, right? I was talking with James. The two of us heard this loud noise all of a sudden, so, so I went to check. Turns out 68 broke the window and took off. By the time I came to check up on you, you were already out cold. I had this cracked ashtray next to you, too. This got me all in a panic. So I didn't notice that the gate to the inpatient sector wasn't locked. Next thing I knew, a, a bunch of patients had all gotten out. They, they charged me, tied me up, and threw me in the bathroom. Then, then they dragged you in after I was tied up. Jesus Christ. Then Nelly was in on this, too? She doesn't really strike me as the violent type. I don't know about that, but I'm not taking any risks. They're all crazy. Who knows what they're capable of? But what is it they're trying to do? And why didn't you call the police when you had the chance? Everything happened so fast. One second, I was trying to figure out what happened to you. The next, those psychos jumped me. Huh? Where's my phone? Don't tell me they took it. Oh, wait. Oh, God damn it, it's gone! Ah, not my phone, something else. Uh, uh, you know, caregivers aren't allowed to bring phones inside the hospital. You know, that's... Suspicious, Ray. Well, that's stupid. What do we do now, then? We can't even call the police. How many people did you see in here earlier? Don't tell me everyone is in on this. Uh, I saw Clep, Silver Spoon, Oscar... Oh, right, and Mr. Director... I'm telling you, it was chaos. There might have been more of them. I don't know. And all of them working together? They're not even suffering from the same illness. 
This is certainly a first. What do you think they're trying to do? Escape? So, uh, th they took the keys, but as far as I know, they haven't left. All I could tell was that Mr. Director seemed to be the ringleader. Something about m manipulation and brainwash. Then it's a coup? A coup? Yeah, they want to take over the hospital. That's why they didn't escape. You haven't seen George, have you? Nope. Maybe he's still in the treatment room? Is that an alarm? Uh, probably somebody's alarm clock. I wouldn't worry about it. Then what do we do? It's only a matter of time before they find us here. Honestly, I think the two of us can hold them off. Clep, he's basically a stick. Oscar's a wuss. Silver Spoon's lucky if he isn't fighting himself. And Mr. Director, he's an old man. The only reason they got the jump on me last time was because they, they caught me off guard. But you and I, we'll have the element of surprise next time. Why don't we just sneak into the director's office and use the landline to call the police? Hey, good idea. Come on, let's go. Stay calm. We've got this. No looking around, just stay quiet and follow me. me. That's, I... Everything seems very suspicious to me now. Are those guys? So we got them. Where's the other one? I mean, we still have you. <clears throat> I'm gonna follow you in. Hello, welcome in, officers. How can I help you? I heard your siren. Yeah, and then you go. How did this window break? This is where the patient. You have to be right. Where are you going there? Wouldn't you say? Nice decor and boring the. <laughs> and there you go. You think oh, you're sorry. going, pal? Oh, there's. Sit back another down. One. You can leave when I sit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, so you you had a talk. Where did you come from? No money in this. Hey, you want to do business with me? You do it my way. That means no credit. I already made an exception letting you try out the phone. And now that you know it works, you got to pay up. Unless you want me to tell Jennifer you stole her phone. Don't be a rat. All right, fine. How about I just give it back, huh? Then you can sell it to someone else. <laughs> I, I can live with that. Hand it over. Wait, before you leave. Do you know if they caught patient number 58 yet? The one who escaped? Uh, nope. Not as far as I know. What about the police? They here yet? Now that you mention it, Mr. Director did say he heard a, uh, a siren earlier. Perfect. Anyway, here's your phone. Ah, no, 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 no hard feelings, huh? Uh, next time, if you got money, we can do business. What took you so long? I, I got a business deal. I'll take it care of now, though. Business deal? I told you to lock those two in the bathroom. That's uh, uh I, I did. I, I did. Don't 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 worry. But uh, but what what about George? Huh? We take care of Jennifer and Ray, but leave George. Shouldn't we lock him up too? George is conducting one of those brain goggle sound experiments on the maestro. If we interrupt them, there's a chance we'll fry our friend's mind. Fine, well, let him be for now. But what if the police decide to barge in there later? I've made arrangements. Oscar will try to send them away. Should he fail, he'll lead the police to us. When that happens, I need you to give a winning performance. <laughs> there. Don't you worry about that. I may not be an actor or anything, but I'm an ace at improv. Hey, well, now what hit him? Perfect. First, we'll take control of the hospital. Then, we'll rescue Maestro. Seriously, though? That test Maestro went to? What's it all about, huh? You guys keep saying he's fucked. What the hell did I do to him in there? I didn't know much about it myself until I spoke to Nellie. She calls it a thematic apperception test, or TAT. TAT? What's with all the acronyms nowadays? Can't hardly tell what the hell something is. Do we even know it's legit? You know Nelly. She throws Dr. Mumbo Jumbo like this around all the time. Full of shit, if you ask me. 
Who's to say she's not just making shit up on the fly? You really gonna believe a windbag like her? On this matter? Yes. It's like I told you already. This isn't a real hospital. No, this is nothing more than a reality show. And the reason you don't remember is for exactly this reason. The test. That TAT has brainwashed all of you. You don't even remember who you really are. Brainwashed? The hell? Yes, all of us. We were participants in this theater verite. Over time, the rest of the crew, the true evil behind us, manipulated our gray matter using these so-called tests. They made us believe we were mental patients. Mental patients! Fortunately, my experience as a director allowed me to see through their wiles and maintain my true sense of reality. A professional like me can spot an amateur from a mile away. No wonder those doctors keep telling me I'm sick. <laughs> these doctors, they used these tests to toy with our brains, giving us all sorts of wild hallucinations. Once our heads are adequately scrambled, they give us a new identity. By doing so, they keep us trapped in this never-ending reality show, day by day losing more of our hold on reality. In short, the doctors aren't real doctors, and we aren't real patients. We're nothing but actors in this twisted, cruel production. We're the actors? I thought Oscar was the only actor in this place. Are you both patients here? Oh, oh God! Oh God! In my stomach! I, 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 sorry! I, 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 hey. I gotta go. And just where do you think oh, you're sorry. going, pal? Sit back down. You can leave when I say oh. you can leave, which is after you've answered my questions. Okay, okay. Whatever you say. Both of you, sit down and behave yourselves. I want you to answer the officer's questions. Also, officer, I don't understand what you hope to gain by interrogating these patients. That's a nice costume you got there, officer. Pretty convincing, even. Your lines, on the other hand, have room for improvement. You can't start off that strong. You lose any sense of foreshadowing. Just makes the audience feel off. We've nicknamed patient 49 Mr. Director. Believe it or not, he suffers from something called the Truman Show Delusion. In his mind, he's making a masterpiece, and we're all just actors. We rely on role-playing therapy to treat patients like these. You know, I think we already had that thing. That this whole story thing, I don't think... You know what? I'm gonna... The thing is, so... I don't think Maestro is a mental patient. I think actually that Mr. Director, uh, Clap, Oscar, and was it Maestro by the way, or or was it Maestro? Who who was part of them? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ellie, a a Emily is she's she's in that case. Uh, Clap. Maestro, Mr. Director. And I don't, I mean, Oscar seems. Is he part of their crew? Because he's like, hey, he's going to distract them. But he also seemed like one of the, uh, the people working there. I think Spoon might be nuts. Spoon. Him would just get us because yeah but he was nuts he got so invited down soon enough he got Mr. invited by a fire i'd like to ask you so a few you, questions you you are you Rip? you and emily straighten the eye and also i do not trust ray because he smacked nelly down and he was like hey i'm missing something not my phone so i'm gonna take a little gamble here so I think the real mental patients are trying are are those that try to commit the coup, not the police. Okay, That's it's not. It much. He's a guard. Emily is a mental patient. George is a doctor. Maestro is actually not a patient, but George is making him a patient. 
because he was like, "Hey, who are you?" I, okay, no, I'm I'm the patient. I'm just gonna uh, comply because else I'm gonna get punished. Uh, Nelly, journalist, not a patient. Spoon is a patient. Elvira is one of the crew with Tony and McMurphy. He is not a mental patient. They're looking for ghosts. So cop, 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 worker, mental patient, mental patient, ghost, worker. That's that's how it's in my head right now. So let's see if that's true. Yeah. I did. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Close the case then. What? I did? First try. Yay. Excellent work, detective. Thank you. I have just one last question for you. I have just one last question for you. Oh no, what is this? Who are you? Who am I? I'm sorry, who am I? I need to do... What? I... I am Maestro, number... Patient number 68. Yeah, I'm 68. Okay, number 68. Hmm? Since you already know you're one of our patients, we'll move forward with your treatment. Here, this pill will help calm and center you. Wait, so I'm... What can I do now? Sleeping pill? Ashtray? Sure. The drugs ain't mine! That? That painting has not been lost. <laughs> yeah, I am that person. Not me. Don't believe them! Unless there's multiple endings. That could also be the case, that there's multiple endings. Next. Thank you for playing our game. Are there multiple endings? I get auditory hallucination. Th th this is pretty awesome for credits. <laughs> so what was that ending about? I, I could have chosen eight options. Eight options. Is that just for achievements? I have no idea. I'm a little bit flabbergasted. Just a little bit. Chinese voice acting. I did not hear any Chinese voice acting. I heard English voice acting. Also, I cannot read this. English voice acting. There we go. There were a lot of actors there. lot of lot of actors oh wow i did not realize that the last chapter was actually um the deduction was that that bordered off that that um the boundaries of each little island of the people like the doctors and the policemen the patients was so clear with the coop. If you got the coop and you took a bet on them being the, the wackos, then yeah, you, you just, you had it. But this was unheard, a game that was gifted to me by Scissor. Scissor, thank you very much for donating it to the channel. I really enjoyed playing it. Um, 
I'm still in a little confusion mode about that ending. I'm not sure. Can we do this and then... Alright, so since we still know the answer, right? It's Mr. Maestro Nelly Spoon Clap and um, Rain. Oh god, I need to... Oh my goodness. <sighs> I need to add all the... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's... I'm not gonna... <laughs> no. <gasps> no. I I do not know where all the names are. Which people are... Okay. It's fine. On to the next game. Thank you very much for watching Unheard. And I will see you next time.